Welcome back to Triple R's One Minute Review. Twisted Metal for the PlayStation was released November 10th, 1995. Twisted Metal is a sign of its time as far as cool factor goes. It really nails the sense of mid to late 90s gaming. Darker themed story, cool characters and vehicles to choose from. Each with their own backstory along with the overall backstory of Calypso and the Twisted Metal tournament itself. This game was a strong title for PS1. Felt very up to date. You got to choose from 12 characters, each with their own vehicle. Sweet Tooth being the most famous with the ice cream truck. Yellow Jacket, Dark Side, Outlaw, Thumper, Crimson, Fury, Pit Viper, Warhog, Mr. Grimm, Spectre, Hammerhead, and Roadkill are the other combat cars and vehicles. Pick your driver, battle through six stages of combat using machine guns, missiles, specials, and more. Each driver also gets their own ending. Twist Metal looked good for his time and still has that PS1 charm graphic-wise. Control, however, is clunky, meaning you have to use the D-pad to control your car. The levels are cool enough, the radar can be a bit lacking. The game is still fun to go back to, check it out. I give Twisted Metal a 7 out of 10. Hey, this is the Triple R One Minute Game Review. We're going to look at Tekken for the PlayStation 1 console. This game came out November 8th, 1995. Very good game. It was an arcade port. They did a really good job on the PlayStation version. You had Jack, Kazuo, King, Law, Michelle, Nina, Paul, and Yoshimitsu, all as playable characters with their own unique styles and cool throws. King had suplexes. Uh, Nina has some cool stuff. Law's quick, of course. Paul has some judo throws. Yusumichu has a sword. <laughs> and they all look cool. They have some cool sparse backgrounds, but you could... There was some art back there. It was like a nighttime, a baseball diamond, a coliseum one. This game's a lot of fun. Still holds up today. It's a little slow. Maybe not holds up today. It's still fun to go back and play every once in a while and see the Tekken origin. I give Tekken for the PlayStation 1 8.5 out of 10. Welcome back to Triple R's One Minute Game Reviews, Tekken 2. Tekken 2 was released for the PlayStation August 27th in 1996. Yeah. We'll start out with 10 characters to choose from. Hiachi, yeah. King, Law, Lei, Michelle, Nina, Paul, Yoshimitsu, and June. There are quite a few unlockable characters in Tekken 2, some being Lee, Armor King, Anna, and many others, giving you a lot of bang for your buck. This was a time of no DLC. You actually got to unlock characters by beating the game. Ah, the good old days of gaming. Tekken 2 improves on everything Tekken 1 did. More characters, more lively stages, and better, more responsive gameplay. June and Lei really shine here on how gameplay has gotten better over Tekken 1 with their easy combos and fluid animations. I give Tekken 2 a 9 out of 10. Triple R's One Minute Review. River Raid for the Atari 2600 was released December 13, 1982, was developed and published by Activision. In River Raid, you control a jet, fly through a scrolling stage, racking up high scores by shooting enemy vehicles such as helicopters, boats, and other jets. You also need to keep an eye on your fuel. To refuel, you'll pass through a fuel barrel that says fuel on it. Be careful not to destroy them when shooting. Gameplay in River Raid is a lot of fun. You coast at a low speed, you're able to go faster by pressing up, slow down by pressing down, all the while shooting your missiles. You have a little bit of control of your missiles when you go left or right after you shoot them. Uh, the game starts off slow, enemies not really moving. As you progress, more enemies appear on screen. They also move left or right, trying to crash into you. The scrolling stage itself also becomes harder. You can make quick choices on what path you're going to take. Uh, the graphics of Overrated look really good. It has standard Atari 2600 sounds. Uh, the colors are bright, easy to tell what each vehicle is. Your playing controls and feels good. It has a nice sense of speed. This is one of the top games, in my opinion, for the Atari 2600. I give River Raid a 9 out of 10. Welcome back to Triple R's One Minute Review. California Games was ported to the NES in 1988, developed by Rare. It was originally developed by Epix for other platforms like the Commodore 64 and the Apple II. California Games really captured what people, at least folks in the Midwest like myself, imagined Cali life was like in the 80s. Fun in the sun, competing in outdoor events, events like half pipe, skateboarding, footbat, aka hacky sack, surfing, roller skating, BMX complete with rad backflips, and flying disc, aka frisbee throw. At the start of the game, you put your name in, you also get to choose a team that I'm guessing serves as your sponsor in the games like Santa Cruz, Skateboard, ROP, and others. All the events are pretty much just mini games with really nice bright colors, very good graphics. Controls are good for the most part with the half pipe, maybe being the most tricky of the events. It's a fun game, it's nice in short bursts. It does have multiplayer where you can compete for high scores against other, pl other players, which is nice. I give California Games a 7 out of 10.